Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and today we are 3D printing, assembling, and painting a Leopard 2A6 tank. So this is designed to be an easy print at a 1 to 100 size scale. However, we're going to supersize it. So this is what the original looks like at the kind of correct scale if you decide to download this and give it a go. You can print it off either in one complete sheet and it's set up like that, or it also has all the individual bits as well that you can print off. Although the connector pieces are not actually included in the single pieces, uh, which is a bit of a pity. So I had to like make them up for uh, the bigger version that I did. But this is the default size and it's pretty damn nice. The turret rotates and everything and the gun is also movable. However, I thought this is one we're gonna increase the size of. Now, usually what I've found with scaling stuff up, especially going like 200%, like we have done here, it doesn't always work out too well, but this, I think at 200% is so freaking good. So yeah, uh, well worth supersizing this one up. And all the details really kind of uh, continue to look great, if not even better when you've scaled it up. But yeah, this is all the bits for our supersized version. And like I say, the actual files themselves, you've either got one option, which is the entire lot that you can print off in one go, or you've also got the individual bits, but they don't have the connectors. So I, once I printed everything out, I went back and I measured up the holes that uh, were left for those purple parts and then just designed them real quick. So the way this goes together is you have to assemble the barrel in two parts. And then the barrel actually fits into the other part before you glue it so that it can actually articulate when it's all complete. So make sure to not uh, get glue in those certain areas so that it'll you know, continue to be movable. But I guess you can glue it in there as well if you're not too fussed about it moving. But yeah, we're going to put this together. We're going to paint it up and hopefully this will look really freaking cool. And I was very, very liberal with the glue here. As you can see though, I actually put the glue all over this piece, even though there's actually a hole. So I didn't need to put the glue in there. That was a bit of a mistake, but not something that actually causes an issue with the barrel. As long as, of course, you're not putting the uh, turret in uh, straight away, as long as that glue dries, actually is no issue and no, not visible as well once it's all assembled. So no problems. And uh, yeah, clamped it all together to keep this thing very much intact so that hopefully it would all look good and have as least amount of seams as possible. Although this is going to have the tracks attached to each side. So this one's actually the least worrisome piece to actually put together. And again, very liberal with the glue on the turret as well. Although around the actual part that's going to move, I didn't put any at all so that hopefully that will be completely free and able to move around. And so far, the construction of this is really, really good. Link in the description below if you want to actually have a go at printing this yourself. And like I say, absolutely putting up 200% is really cool. The smaller version is, is sweet, but I think the bigger version is great. And for some reason, the details uh, scale up beautifully once you get to 200% on this bad boy. And then we just have to attach the tank treads to the side here, and that's the hull done, the turret's done, and we can actually go ahead and paint this up to hopefully make it look great as hell. And here's the final product without any paint on. I went for black plastic here so that any bits that I didn't miss or I, I did miss with the paint job that I was going to spray paint with a nice olive green. If any of that missed, it would just be hopefully dark areas that would look quite good. And then there's the small one too. Like I said, the small one is actually still really cool looking, but I just like the bigger one more. And yeah, freaking sweet. So here it is painted up. Here's the hull looking real good. I went and simply just added some silver bits as well with a paintbrush and that's kind of it. And I did do the tank treads at the bottom in a kind of gunmetal, or actually not, not gunmetal, it was more of a normal silver. Uh, although I don't think that would be the real color of it, but of course it's on the bottom of the model. It's just there to add a little bit of uh, depth to it all. And then the turret on top with the actual movable gun. Uh, yeah, freaking sweet. And look at those details. Like I think the actual print lines on some of these slanted armor actually help to make it look even cooler so yeah very impressed with that looks brilliant and uh, of course one of the most used tanks in the european armies out there it's a really freaking cool 
I need to find a challenger tank to see if I can get one printed off now at a similar scale. I think it'll look really good next to this. So I'll leave you with some high quality photos and this model is extremely photogenic. I think they look amazing and I wasn't really doing anything spectacular with the photos. They just, I don't know, comes across real nice. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below and uh, catch you next time.